you, sir. Just wanted to say my mother will be so proud of me and everything we're doing here. I owe that to you, Mr. Cleveland. If you're ready to lay hands on... How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turn. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. <laughs> Off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol.
on in, Dominic. Park anywhere. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Son doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his uh -huh. very generous con... until I find you, boy. Don't make me come looking for you. Huh? Oh, shit. Right now? Okay. Okay. Okay, how about this one? I know this son of a bitch has been dead since 64. Five. Huh?
way you're getting past here, boy. Oh, Steve. Hey! Hey! Audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. I think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> The streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up, and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up, and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Crew shooters downtown. You got it. We'll be around shortly.
downtown. I need a new ride. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Thanks. Watch your ass on the way out. Motherfucker, you look like the cat who ate the canary. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? Listen here. You put my men on the front line and lock them down to action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. That ain't exactly true. Because... Stolen out pieces of the city is a hell of a lot bigger deal than having a couple of meatheads lock down some action. All I'm saying. First, I'm hearing of any action in this part of the city, which is fine, but it don't change my stance that this turf ought to come to me. The Haitians will run this part of the city. All right. I'll make sure our people are coordinating things between the holla and here. I guess that's that. And make sure you don't fuck it up. Well, I ain't exactly throwing a big bash over your decision, but for the time being, I can live with it. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Police are intensifying their search for the colored male believed to be responsible for the massacre at the Royal Hotel. The suspect is described as six feet, three inches, and is believed They're to be saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Sending some new wheels to Del Rey Hollow. Hi. I'll get around to you right away.
visit in this great country of ours? Well, if it isn't my Call favorite local news... Assume you're still publishing that rag of yours. If it bleeds, it leads. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me? Whores. You want high-end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand-picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Hurt an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. Or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation. And the high rollers. The fellas running horse for handsome Harry will know what he's up to. It's sad where it's going. At the time, I, I understood the pain Lincoln was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lincoln's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking... Hoping really that uh, if I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. There ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him. I think us going to Sammy's like this is gonna do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, father. I hardly see the point in it. It's a hard thing to let go to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. Think she's setting her mind on doing something with Samus. Hmm. Can't hardly see what. The shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Pearl passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried a loss deep down. Started running girls out of the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire guard inside of her, kicked all those girls out, customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen. Told him he was doing wrong by Perla. But more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys. Sending the message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. 
All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights. Getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. Walk on out front. You need to get on inside. Here's Anna, and those men. Dealt with. But if more come, I want y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tickfall. It's safe. You... You don't know that. I'll take her there. Meet me when you're ready. All right. Gonna take a look around inside first. camera here. Some kind of tattoo might mean something. Looks like he took a knife to the gut. Interesting. Never seen a card like this. Flowers hand painted. No signs of being restrained. Looks like you messed with the wrong girl.
covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. Everybody tells a story. Ligature marks. Must have had him tied up. Shot him as he was running away. So they drag him in here. But when he tries to escape, they shoot him dead. But why were they in here at all? or something. This thing looks ritualistic. These markings. Strangest thing. Think I have what I need. Should go meet with Father James. stress reaction but I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock we all heard it said before that uh, war is hell ain't no surprise there the pain the guilt the anger and the rage for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation. It sticks to your soul. So I, uh... I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. Cause there was hell burning in her eyes. I've been talking to Anna about those men over at Sammy's. They didn't drag her over there. She went with them, willingly. 
That don't make any sense. This girl was running for her life. And on the inside of Sammy's, there were three words written on the wall. Covered in blood. Never seen anything like it. Sammy ever tell you boys stories about the Asanglante? Sure. Thought he was just trying to scare us. Asanglante is French. For covered in blood. Now, they can be traced back to the original settlers who came here looking for a new life, but instead found only death. It all turned around when they incorporated the new ceremonies into their religious practice. Like human sacrifice. That part always stuck with me. So you think Anna's one of them? All I know for certain is that girl is mixed up with a bunch of very bad people. Lincoln? I need to show you something. Can you shed any light on this? Look, Cher, my eyes have been on you for weeks now. I see the shit you put up with around here. It's not so bad. What about the way Phil back there can't keep his hands off your ass? Or the way the cheap bastards around here never leave you a tip? That not so bad? This place ain't ever gonna deliver the happiness you deserve. But we can. Why are you saying such sweet things to me? Maybe you shouldn't be asking why I'm saying these things to you. But why hasn't someone said them to you sooner? Be part of us, Anna, baby. Man, she made me feel welcome. Like I belonged. Is that why you went to Sammy? Well, they didn't give me a choice. They said it was the only way that I could be purified. Let me go. I won't say anything. Please. Well, I, I tried to stop them, but I... I, I couldn't. I, 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 I just had to get out of there, and, and he... The... the, the Crying. And the tears and, and, and the blood. He was choking the, the, the sadness. Look at me, Anna. People like this have a process for indoctrinating folks. Where else did Bonnie take you? A nightclub. Uh, Nuit Blanche, that's where they bring people into the family. Yeah, I know it. A hippie club downtown. And that plane pilot? That's the only way they'll let you inside. Got you. I, I hey, you did good here, Anna. Hmm. I did good. Okay. Careful of the fallen sky. The mind is him, the flesh consumes it. The sky falls, the mind is him, the mind is him, the flesh consumes it. This girl needs help. Doctors and nurses looking after her. Do you really think that's what'll happen? A girl like her with nothing to her name? I mean, they'll toss her in a padded cell and just forget about her. We both know how much this city cares for the poor and the infirmed. So we're all she's got. I'll get her some nourishment. You do what you got to do, son. 
Thanks, Father. New wheels and tick fall. On it, lad. Just getting her warmed up. Is that a Hot Wheels just like you ordered? That's a big help. Invite only, friend. Lucky I got one right here. Friend of mine named Anna had a car just like that. Used to come in all the time. Ain't seen her since she went off with one of Bonnie's crew. Yes. She's Hands not in on. a good way, and I'm here to have a word with Bonnie about it. Get in here. I'll give you the nickel tour, if that will help you help Anna. Private Twinkletoes, where do you think you're going? Just showing our new guest around. Mind the door for me, would you? I'm Oscar, by the way. Lincoln, you serve? Army. Till Uncle Sam declared me undesirable. Shit. Sorry, man. Are you always just jumping? Free drugs and booze will do that. Bonnie's people kept this circus going non-stop. You're not a fan. I don't trust the bitch. Her and her fucked up little inner cycle. <laughs> you, you like that? Cause I got a line on the real part. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. I can... There she is in the flesh. Bonnie fucking arms. Look at your... The best, most beautiful new Bordeaux has to offer. 
And you deserve to drink. Enjoy some herb. Enjoy the night. Let your mind ascend. The sky's the limit. Come on. I want to show I love something you something that's going through. Maybe you can make some sense of it. Bonnie's really got a hooks in him. Oh, she does that. Picks out the neediest ones. Then she makes Bonnie Hollis the thing they need most. <laughs> See them fellas guarding the door down there? The IP area. Ain't safe. But Bonnie always keeps hard guards on the door. Might have been talking about places of darkness. Last I saw Anna, they were taking her down there. I was bringing some kegs up, found this black light uh, over there in the back. What were they using it for? Looks like Bonnie's people have come through here. Busy.
Charles Park. Fuck. I remember reading about this. Arson. Killed a bunch of black kids over in Barclay. This motherfucker. Old Rebel General Braxton Mosby Harless. He and his whole clan at our old house up in Frisco Fields. He's altars. Wealthy storage. Looks like a place over in the bayou. Shouldn't be here. She belongs with us, Mr. Clay. She needs us. Now, more than ever. You'll never get anywhere near Anna. You know, I had a feeling you might be resistant to my charms. Can't blame a girl for trying. We believe that humanity is ultimately doomed, Mr. Klee. You get no argument from me? Have you ever seen the lifelight drain from another man's eyes, Mr. Klee? I have. It's a beautiful thing. Pure. Intimate. <laughs> My blood gave birth to this city. Owned it. Now I look around and all I see is filth. Sitting where well borns once reigned. How sad for you. You're gonna be a piece of share. Maybe you wanna sit us down. Fine. Tell me where she is. Oh, fuck yourself. The filth will know their name. Bum, bum, <laughs> the blessed belongs to me, Mr. Clay.
Send me a crew, shoot us downtown. Watch! Uh, watch where you're going! Should've worn my galoshes. <laughs>